And the government of Kenya and the World Health Organization have embarked on construction of a WHO regional emergency hub on a 30-acre piece of land adjacent to the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital in Nairobi. The hub meant to train a core of 3,000 elite emergency responders from across the region, as well as reduce the amount of time that WHO takes to respond to emergencies from 20 20 days to 72 hours across the 54 African countries. Emily Chabet reports. The World Health Organization Logistics Hub that is expected to build and support capacity in disaster management systems as well as technical expertise in Eastern African countries is meant to respond to a maximum of 130 crises at a time. According to the World Health Organization, less than 10% of African countries have the workforce required to prepare, detect and respond to public health risks. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom saying the Nairobi-based hub will improve the capacity of 54 African countries in emergency response. It takes an average of 20 days to deliver supplies to communities Afri across Africa during emergencies. Prepositioning supplies at the emergency hub is part of WHO's effort to significantly cut down delivery time to 72 hours. We have also committed five million US dollars towards operationalization of this hub. And we will continue to collaborate with the WHO and other development partners in sourcing for more resources to support the completion and the full operationalization of this hub. The facility, which is adjacent to the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, will include a center of excellence for health emergency workforce, a training center, a house cadre of professionals that can respond to a medical emergency within its first 24 hours, and different medical equipments. President Huru Kenyatta saying lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic response will help in strengthening the facility for better results. My administration did direct the National Treasury and the Kenya Revenue Authority to ensure an expedited and fast-track lane for customs clearance for all medical supplies destined to this facility. Uhuru warning a section of Kenyatta University leadership opposed to the construction of the project, claiming that the piece of land belongs to the institution and has plans to utilize it. And what this facility is going to do to help us improve healthcare, not just in Kenya, to help us meet emergencies, not just in Kenya, but throughout the African continent. We shall deal with those individuals. Swiftly, swiftly and effectively. Hey, the president also launched a catheterization laboratory at the hospital, which enhanced treatment of heart-related diseases. We have done so much. He officiated the groundbreaking of AMREF International University Health Sciences in Ruiru, which is meant to help in scaling up training for healthcare workers, including community health workers and midwives, to help bridge the existing shortage in human resource for health. In what it seems as President Uhuru Kenyatta's effort to cement his legacy, today he his focus was on health, one of his big four agenda, where he launched a number of equipments and infrastructure. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, in Nairobi.